it is bonus video for CCNP 2.0 switch where we are going to discuss about port ACL. Obviously, it is not part of exam but it is required in production network. So, uh, let's go ahead and discuss a little bit more about a port ACL. What is the use case of port ACL where we can apply port ACL and so on. So, port ACL access control traffic entering layer 2 interface. If we are talking about traditional ACL or access control list, it apply on layer 3 interface. So, it could be your router interface or layer 3 switch where it is no switch port command executed. So, let's go through the example that makes sense. For example, let's say we have a topology which is look like this. And we want to uh, filter specific traffic going from PC1 to PC2, which is directly connected to same switch and maybe in same VLAN. So yes, obviously we can create a private VLAN and uh, isolated port and uh, excuse me, isolated VLAN. So they are not going to talk to each other. But we don't want to block entire traffic, we want to block specific traffic. On such cases, we required a router. So as we know, on router we have a layer 3 interface where we can apply ACL. But devices are going to talk directly because they belong to same subnet as well as same VLAN. So they are not going to forward traffic to the router. So, in such cases, you may need to require configure port ACL rather than a normal ACL. So, this is what the use case where we can apply a port ACL. Switch does not support port ACL in outbound direction. So, if you are talking about the traditional or a router ACL, it is going to apply on both directions. Let us say we have a router, we can specify we are going to block inbound traffic or outbound traffic. But in case of port ACL, we cannot specify outbound traffic. We can specify inbound traffic, which is right there. So we can block traffic which is originated from PC1 out this interface or uh, traffic originated from PC2 on this interface. So let's go ahead and discuss a little bit more about this. You can apply one IP access list, obviously one MAC address list on layer 2 interface. So additionally, you can create MAC access list because IP address can be changed by the user. So it doesn't make sense. So let me describe a little bit more about this. If you created ACL, I'm going to block a host which has IP address 1.1. .1, but what happened if host change their IP address? So it's going to be allowed. Because of that, you can also configure MAC address, excuse me, MAC ACL on your switches in order to prevent such kind of traffic or uh, such kind of attack. Obviously, router ACL support on switch virtual interface. So you can go for router ACL in uh, switches as well. But in such case, we need to apply it on layer 3 interface, which is also known as SVR. What kind of ACL actually it, it use if you are talking about specific port ACL. So we can go for standard IP access list or extended IP access list using name or number method. Obviously we can configure MAC access list in order to specific control for particular MAC address. And let's say this is the example where we can apply access control list or excuse me, create access list. So access list 2, which is standard and we want to deny a host which has IP address this one. So we can use standard as well as extended ACL. So once we create ACL, we can specify using this, excuse me, we can verify using this command. And obviously, we need to attach this access control list on a specific interface. But notice that we can only use direction in, we cannot use direction out as we have discussed earlier. But in case of VLAN 1 or interface VLAN 1, more technically it is switch virtual interface, we can apply it on both directions. 
So let's go ahead and perform practical that make a little bit more clear, uh, uh, um, that make little bit more clarity about how your port ACL actually work. So my devices are up and working and for simplicity I am going to use a simple topology where I have a router which is a branch and other router which is HQ. So let's go ahead and configure this thing. So before going to the implement port ACL I would like to assign IP address on interfaces. So gig 0 slash 0 IP address on branch I have 1.1.1.1 no shutdown and uh, other router gig 0 slash 0 IP address 1.1.1.2.255.255.255.0 no shutdown and let's say on this switch first of all spanning tree port fast default for, for faster convergence or transition and then let verify connectivity from R1 to excuse me from headquarter to branch. As we can see, we do have a connectivity. Now, additionally, I would like to verify so CDP neighbor on which port we connected with. So branch router connected with gig 0 slash 1. So it is 1 and it is gig 0 slash 2. So currently everything is working fine or working smoothly. And let's say additionally, I'm going to enable line VTY, excuse me, 0 to 4. And let's say no login. I'm going to enable telnet on uh, headquarter router. So I can go for telnet, telnet 1.1.1.2. As you can see, we are able to take the telnet. And what we're looking for, we're going to block specific traffic, which is telnet passing from uh, branch router to headquarter. So from branch router, which is port number one to headquarter, which is port number two. So we need to apply port ACL on interface gig zero slash one. So, so let's create ACL. So you can specify ACL or access control list or you can go for assign IP access control list, which is exactly same the uh, same as uh, this one. But where we we need to specify, we're going to use extended or standard. So let's say, for example, I'm going to use extended. Then we can specify it is name or a number. In my case, it is let's say name. Uh, and uh, I'm going to use BLK, which is block. For example, deny a host, deny TCP for a host which has IP address 1.1.1.1. So this is IP address of router 1.1.1.1 and 1.1.1.2. If it going to the host 1.1.1.2 and port number 23 or either we can specify telnet and then permit IP any any so rest of thing going to be allowed because we don't want to block rest of traffic and let's go ahead verify the access control list as we can see we have a access control list named BLK statement number 10 we're going to deny TCP traffic which is originated from the host IP address 1.1.1.1 it is a source and destination a particular host you can specify network as well 1.1.1.2 equal to telnet and rest of traffic going to be allowed so go ahead and apply it on gig 0 slash 1 IP access group and the name of group is block and notice that notice that we have only one option which is in. So in previous section we seen that your HQ, excuse me, your branch router was able to take the session but as you can see it is now going to hang. So control shift 6 for release control shift 6 <laughs> or I can clear this from 
this router so so user who is currently log in actually so so session i believe there is a command no so users so on vty uh, i believe clear line which is 388 confirm and now it cannot go for take till net again because it going to be denied because of the access control list excuse me port access control list but we may able to uh, we may able to access rest of resources so control 6 control shift 6 excuse me like we can ping traffic from uh, the headquarter to branch as well as branch to headquarter or maybe some other kind of traffic like ssh and uh, so on so for simplicity i am uh, i'm going to verify whether we do have a connectivity or not so as we can see currently telnet traffic going to be blocked and rest of traffic going to be allowed so in production network you can utilize port acl because as we discuss what what will be the uses uh, use case maybe we are belong to the same vlan and we want to uh, block a specific traffic from this pc to this pc for telnet for ssh or for some other things but uh, if you talking about the traditional access control list it going to apply on layer 3 interface which is router so on that situation what you required you need to put this uh, pc in a different uh, subnet as well as vlan and this pc on different subnet so on 100% it is not true for two pc we going to create a different vlan or for particular pc we going to create a different vlan so this is all about this